Again, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I am kind of excited because when I first started pouring I used to do a lot of dirty pours and puddle pours the same as everyone else did and now I'm going to um, I'm going to do a puddle pour but I'm also going to do a mixed pour and basically for the mixed pour I'm going to be adding a dirty center or a dirty variation on a few of the rings that are going to be quite different from the rest and whoops that is part of a tennis ball <laughs> container and I usually use it for an inversion but um, I don't think that that's the way that's going to happen this time I want colors that are really spectacular in here and I have some favorites obviously you can tell and when I squeeze the colors down into the mix often that will mean that I'm agitating the paint I want some of that original this back. I just love those colors. Oh my. I do indeed. They're beautiful. And I'm going to keep trying to repeat them until I get as many as I think I will benefit from. And I might just go ahead and go back. Do I really want to do that? Yeah, I kind of do. I haven't given myself any yellow in a while and I think it's time. And this is going to sort of give me an outline for what I think I might want in my uh, in my ring pour. I'm going to throw some white in there, right down in, and finish up with my favorite folk art color shifting. Am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the color I really want. All right, so I'm going to move that out of here, hoping that it, I don't spill it. I am going to put a layer of paint on my canvas. That I am pretty sure of. And it doesn't matter what's here. It does matter that there's nothing bad in there like that. But I have my OXO omelet turning spatula. And I never get a bad review from that. Let's make sure there's nothing in my way. This is the best paint spreading spatula around. I haven't even I have even, even seen some of my so-called competition or my compatriots, whatever you want to call them. I'm a little jealous because they get to do really large art and I need a better space to do large art. I have large canvases. My studio, I've been collecting them since I started making any money at all and investing my money in larger canvases, but I can't uh, until I take this apart I might be sorry I said that because <laughs> if we get another hurricane, I will be taking my whole entire studio apart. And that could be not fun at all, but that's what happens. When I take it apart, I put it back together, and um, this time it might allow me to do some larger art. I'm sort of eyeballing my tripod and nearby furniture to see what might, uh, what, what might constitute a potential platform or armature for the purposes of filming, recording a larger piece of artwork. All right, usually I have a lot of trouble with white canvas and white paint. My eyes are not that great, but I have a nice thick layer here, and I think I've got it all, and it doesn't really matter because I've got edge catchers behind me, and I know how to use them, and I know other people don't necessarily use them very much, but I love my edge catchers. So I am going to do several things, starting with that's not very even. Is that the right side? I don't know. I'm going to have to hold that down before I use it, I think. So I'm just going to give myself some black and some purple, and I'm going to put my cap somewhere I can find them. That's not working. <laughs> That's going to require me taking the top off. I can tell. So if I want some more, I, at least I can just pour it out. Something's in the tip. Something's always in the tip. <laughs> there's Because there's threads on the bottles, the paint congeals like that, and then it detaches itself right in. So right now, I'm going to try and add a little bit of that. I got a strong breeze. Maybe that was not my best friend right now. i throw a little bit of yellow in there. I'm going to throw whatever I need to right in here 
Mix it up. I figure if I hold that down, I got a shot. I'm not really all that concerned about what happens next in there. I am going to do this. And then that. I might do a little inversion. No, I didn't use any gold. And my intention was to use gold, and that's too bad because I should have cleared my tip first. But you can never have too much gold, so I'm all set with that. And I just let my paint out, but I don't think it's going to matter. I've got a little more of this, and I expect things to tilt and tip. Let me introduce you, if you have not met before, my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas. The world's greatest, second greatest, <laughs> my OXO omelet turning spatulas are the best paint spreading spatulas in my opinion. Strictly. I'm going to try and uh, Just keep making things more interesting by adding colors I think I will like and hoping for the best. Now, where's some different colored purple? Because I'd really like... Actually, let's just take a chance and put some of this... Really? Let's put some folk art... Oh, neon purple. Good thing I didn't have a painting over there. Let's try and get some of that to go right down. Rest on the top. What else do I have that I want to use? I think some of that. Let's just get down and get funky. I don't want to waste much of that. That's an art mines and that's not inexpensive. All right, so I am going to let that go. No rhyme, no reason. Tons and tons of paint, and I'm going to take a minute while that flows out. I might even hit that with a torch, because a lot of times a torch is what triggers cells, but I don't use any silicone in my paint. I don't really expect cells, but I do get them anyway. And I am going to just let the paint do the walking. I was inspired by Heather Matter and I believe it's Mila Villages. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. I should probably know, but I don't yet. And I will eventually. Love that orange, thinking I want some more of that. Nothing's gonna keep me from adding it if I want it. I thought I had some darker red orange in there and I don't see any of it. So I'm gonna give it to myself right now. And when I get to using an edge catcher, ooh, double stream, cool. I like it when that happens. It's unusual. Well, not as unusual as I wish it was, but all right, let's find an edge catcher. We're gonna need it soon. I've got a couple of them actually. That one's kind of small. These are the, um, the protective panels in the front of a package of Artist's Loft 16 by 20 inch canvases. And I think I had to put another one of those right on my tile, so if I want to dump something off, I can. I want more white. There is no doubt about it. I want more white. Go the wrong way. Go the right way. Go every way. Not a slow tipper. I am intending on when I get the paint over where I want it to go to flow it back again. So I'm going to let it all go there. Rock it. I'm going to go that way first. Allow it to pool. Flow back again. 
The only part I don't like about this is this part where I have to stick my thumb in something. I'm going to let that go all the way down over here. I have no idea why it doesn't run down my arm. Don't ask me. But it doesn't. It creates sort of a, uh, a seal. And I'm going to rock that again. I think I'm going to use, before it's too late, I'm going to go ahead and grab... Where's my OXO omelet turning spatula done? I have two of those, and neither one of them is... Oh, and they're both in the bucket. Okay. Well, I don't like water on my tools. And I do like using up the paint I've got. And I've got six minutes left and some beautiful cells. And I'm going to use this paint right now. Right there. And the rest of it right here. I'm not wasting any of that gorgeousness. And the white paint is still white. And I love everything I'm seeing. I don't really want to keep going even. Oh my. Okay, well, I'm going to do it anyway. Not only that. Since I'm completely in love with this color, I'm going to give myself permission to use quite a bit of it right here, right now. Thinking that maybe if I tip over with it, I can also tip back with it. Is this long enough? Not really. I need a full length. That's going back in the bucket, whether I like it or not. I need a full length 20 inch edge catcher. And some very good luck. And I think I'll, I'll have a little bit of a few edges to cover and I hope that'll come back to how beautiful it was. The tipping on the diagonal sometimes helps because if you tip on the diagonal look at the size of that pool of paint and it's still okay. It's gorgeous in fact. I'm going to rock that edge catcher a little bit. I'm going to send that paint some of it. Yep, right back over there. I got some gorgeous lightning bolts in there. I got some gorgeous all kinds of stuff in there. That is just fabulous. Wow. Loving that. I know somebody does not care for zigzags in their work, but that is not me. I am going to grab all of this. And I may just tip back again. I have some paint on my spatula. And I'm going to use it to cover my edges right now. Oh, I got a thread on my canvas too. I don't mind, sometimes I don't mind if my color gets a little bit muddy because the mud is usually full of metallics and I like that. I don't know what I want to do with that. I like this too and I think I just want to cover this spot over here instead of tipping anymore. If I let it if I let my finger guide it, I'm not trying to paint with it, paint with my finger like a brush, but if I let it guide it, it works pretty nicely. All right, so now it's time to gift myself. First of all, I'm going to take that paint right off the tile. I'm going to look and see what I feel about my composition. I'm also going to run my fingers under the edge and swivel my turntable. Look for a little canvas showing on the edges and because I got paint on my fingers I'm in a perfect position to add some and I do add some I got to think about that I got one spot of paint on my arm of course it's the size of a tennis ball but I still only got one spot on there I want to make that go someplace else and I had my tubing <laughs> I did something with it again there it is! I got it! Yes! I love it when a plan comes together. This could go back in the bucket, I think. I like this. You cannot maintain the color. But I could. Wow, I don't really want to do much of anything to that. I actually have a little tiny piece of canvas showing. No kidding. I have a white spot. How extremely unusual. Boy, there's so much cool stuff happening there. I really hate to tilt this right now, but if I tilt it a little bit, then I will more than likely get this other area. I don't think I need to do anything to that. <laughs> That's what I have decided. And then she puts the skewer in anyway? <laughs> yes, that is my MO. 
say one thing, do another immediately. All right, so I'm going to torch. I'm not going to worry about sticking any balloon rolls in there because even though that would be kind of cool, it's also not my trademark. Um, I do see a little piece of canvas and I am going to cover that white spot right there. It's bleeding onto an empty edge. We torch to release the bubbles in the paint. We torch to release patterns in the paint because there's pouring medium, especially my deco art pouring medium recipe that has flow troll half and half with deco art pouring medium added to the paint GAC 800 mixture, which is right under the video in the description. I think I could blow into this with my breath and be very happy with all kinds of things that happen in here. But since I'm pretty darn happy with what's happening here already, I don't think it would be a wise idea for me to do that. Look at those cells. No silicone in my mix. Look at those cells. Look at those colors. Woo! <laughs> this is a beauty. It may be accidental art, but I had to work hard for this accidental art. And it may not have taken forever, but you don't have forever to work with this either. And I'm outside in the heat, so thank you guys for joining me so much. Thank you for subscribing. If you think you've subscribed and you're not seeing notifications, please take a minute and check because two things can be at play. One is the settings on your computer do have not allowed for... Is that a thing? I don't know what that was. Um, have not, you have not set up your settings so that you can actually... I need a skewer. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I get two minutes to tell you the rest of all my story. I need a fresh skewer. There we go. This right here. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I, the same thing with other people. I'm like, why did you need to do that? <laughs> but we don't know. It's just our instinct. So, um... Where was I? Give me a thumbs up, please. It tells the YouTube algorithm that you like what I do and you want to see more of it place where you can find it. And uh, that helps me out immensely. Yes, I just purpled that up. Oh, well. Cool. All right. So I love you guys very much. There's almost, there's almost 80,000 of you. And um, if you want to see more videos, look at the end screens of any video. There should be a, um, a playlist there. And I've also, once you go to my channel page, you can find playlists of 100 um, through 700s. I'm uh, up to 800 and some odd videos, so there's seven lists. And, um, and um, you can find the monthly contest there with the prizes that you could win. And this month is a special month for uh, September. A uh, prize will be drawn for October. And you have $160 credit or one of the two paintings offered and a signed book if you ask me to sign it. You might have to remind me I said so. <laughs> of course, by then I will have said it enough times, so maybe not. Anyway, uh, I have a crib sheet around here, but they tried to blow away on me earlier, so there we go. Um, I do sell my art. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill at the studio inside where it's air-conditioned and comfortable. Um... Thank you for all the donations in the past that have kept me painting. I really appreciate that. And uh, if you want to make a donation to get in the contest, it's a $10 minimum requirement. If you want to make a donation for any other reason, donate whatever you want. And uh, I will send you confirmation that you're in the contest if it's $10 or above. Um, I got one minute left <laughs> to tell you, oh, I have designed maybe, I don't know, a hundred new products for the, for the clothing that's underneath the video. It's uh, by Teespring. It's an affiliate of YouTube, and um, leggings and all-over t-shirts are fantastic. There is, uh, there probably won't be by the time you see this unless I run it really quickly. There has been a 10% off code, so if it's not there when you look, I'm sorry. But uh, I'm pretty sure they'll run it again because they want people to know about it. Um, I don't know. What else? I think that's it. I love you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. And... Um, we will see you in on. I hope you find the I hope you find the playlist on the end screens and you have some binge watching to do. And um, you make sure you can see all of that and you can. Yep, I know that I could put chain in there. I know that I could skewer some more of that. I know I could do all kinds of stuff. But the truth is that with the exception of a few little tweaks here and there that I can't seem to keep myself from committing. <laughs> It's good. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.
This is Priscilla Batsell.